When you come into the makerspace to use the laser cutter, there's a couple of things that you need to do ahead of time before you can run your job. So when you come into the laser, this is a full spectrum laser model PS48, and the laser has an exhaust duct that goes up into the ceiling that draws fumes and smoke out of the laser that needs to be turned on. There's also a water cooling unit for uh, cooling the laser tube when it's in operation that needs to be turned on. And there's also a small air compressor that blows air around the, the laser aperture to keep smoke from building up on the mirrors. So when you come into the room to use the laser, the machine should already be turned on. If it's not turned on and the screen is black, you turn it on by twisting the emergency stop to release it. You may need to turn the ignition key to on. So it should be turned on. When you look at the touch screen, you have jog controls to move the laser head around when you're loading your material. And then you also have these up down arrows and that's how you focus the laser. And we'll cover that in a second. So if you had prepared your part and you were gonna go start up the laser to get ready to cut, to turn on the exhaust duct, there's a light switch on the column to the left of the machine that you need to flip on and you should see the vent start sucking air. When you're finished and you go to turn this off, the fan doesn't turn off right away. It keeps the fan running for about 30 seconds to pull all of the air all the way out of the hose and out of the building. So the exhaust vent needs to be turned on and then to turn on the water cooler and the air compressor, you flip on this power strip on the left-hand side of the machine and you'll hear the water cooler start beeping and the lights should come on. Uh, if this doesn't turn on for some reason, you may need to turn the switch on. I usually leave this on and switch everything with the power strip. So then once those are running, you would load your piece of material that you're gonna cut your project into the laser. So I'll use this piece of plywood as an example. To set the focus, you place your workpiece under the laser nozzle and what you need to do is you need to adjust the height of the top surface of your part relative to the laser. Um, the laser focuses at a specific distance underneath the laser head. So in order to focus it, you're going to grab this focusing tool that should be at the machine either um, on a magnet stuck here or it may be in here um, and what you do to focus it is you put the little hooked tip of the the focusing tool on this gold bracket on the top surface of this gold bracket and then the bottom surface of the tool down here under my thumb should touch the piece of material that you're working with so right now this material is a little bit too low in order to focus it you press and hold one of the arrows to move the table either up or down so we saw that it was a little bit too low so I'm going to move the table up a little bit. And now it just about touches when I put the, the hook on the tool. So now the laser is focused for this thickness material. If the person who used the machine before you didn't use the same piece of material, you're going to need to set the focus before you go and, uh, and try and run your part. So that's these arrows here to set the focus. Also on this touch screen in the bottom corner are the parameters that you need to connect to the software to run the laser. The laser runs the software inside of itself rather than through a web interface or through software installed on a computer. So you need this address to type into the computer in the room where you're gonna program the laser. So that same IP address that's in the touch screen panel I've already entered it here and I'm going to show you what it looks like when you type that in. Um, when you come up to the computer, there should be a shortcut to open the laser cutter, but if this IP address changes from the machine being rebooted, you may have to go over to the machine, get the address off the screen, and then type it in here. So if I open a new tab and enter this address. Not search. 
This is what it looks like when the software boots for the first time. Now, when the software loads, it may prompt you whether or not you want to erase projects that were loaded in here from previous people. So don't erase other people's projects. If you do see this window, um, it uh, says that um, wants to know if you want to erase any of these projects. Uh, click continue to continue without removing any, any projects. So I'm going to click continue. And then if you uh, give them give the software a minute to load, all the projects stored in the machine are going to show up on the left. Your drawing and operation um, operation tools are on the top, and then the laser operation tools and things that you'll use to like resize graphics or adjust the power um, and the speed that the laser moves are all shown on the pane on the right.